sip wine, wine, wine Kick my feet up when I get tired And as I recline, take another sip Let my thoughts unwind, wine Sip it and spill it Sip it and spill it, sip it and spill in the tea Sip it and spill it What is poppin', everyone? What's poppin'? How you niggas doing? Niggas is feeling like Houston is located in the middle of fucking hell. Why is it so fucking hot every day? It's really hot. Every day it's been in the hundreds, and we haven't even got to August yet. That's like the hottest month of the year. Like, do y'all not understand? This is like the capital of bad bitches. So if our makeup is running and our wigs are lifting, it's because of the fucking heat. Oh my God, I saw this picture of this girl and she was like, yeah, this is what Dallas Heat did to my wig. And she had a wig outside of her head. She was like holding on to it. Like she just couldn't do it anymore. Oh, I couldn't. So yeah, it's really, really, really hot outside, y'all. Like it really It's is. braid weather. It's Get, get braids because yeah. at least your, your scalp can breathe. Definitely getting braids next. Um, yeah. Outside of that, how you feeling, bitch? I'm feeling good. You know, I'm feeling optimistic. I'm feeling optimistic like- about what? What's going on? What, what What's going on? What's the tea? Well, I mean, <laughs> Shit, I mean like, new job opportunities, you know, I'm, you know, I'm in between jobs right now. Well, am I? Really I hate when niggas say in between jobs. I, I, I am in between <laughs> jobs right now. I mean, yeah, technically. Okay. So like, I'm just trying to figure things out and I'm just optimistic that something that's going to land in my lap, that's going to be good, you yeah. know, and it's going to be better for me and I'm going to be happy with what I have. So that's, you know, what I'm optimistic about. Yeah. Cause yeah. she quit her job one because racism. Yeah. One thing and, about me. And the second job she quit because Beyonce told her to quit her job. <laughs> Literally. Th- those are her two reasonings. There was no other reason. Well, there are some deeper reasons, but you know, the overall thing is. Yeah. The other one. Sammy's always going to fight the power. <laughs> but not too, not too much though. <laughs> not too much. Cause my ass will go right the fuck back to racism. <laughs> if, if need be. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't already, well, the girls are back at it again. Another messy ass episode of sip and spill. where we create conversations all wow. Sip and wine. I go by the thug motherfucking Sammy. And I'm ambitious hoochie mama. Teray. She is looking like a real hoochie mama today. <laughs> y'all. She tried to convince me she wasn't naked, but I see both of her butt cheeks <laughs> and her underwear. So it's not bitch, my underwear. It actually came came with this it came with the leggings it's to give you some underwear bitch that's why <laughs> because if not i would be seeing your butthole <laughs> so yeah sammy and uh, not sammy ami just like a hoe today so are you just saying you want to be outside i'm thinking outside is calling my name the streets or something that i'm familiar with my i have a street named after me ami avenue if you have where is about it? it um it's located <laughs> 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 you could have been like on oh, next to Emmanuel Street or something, no, Hillcroft, okay. Bissonette. <laughs> Loading soon. Loading soon. Loading soon. So All you right. for a little story time? Well, if they haven't already, check yeah, us out at, you know, our Instagram, The Real Sip and Spill. Except Twitter. Which is Sip and Spill 1. And while we're at it, it's a five-star five star rating. Five-star five star bitches. bitches. Check out our Instagram, okay. our YouTube, okay. our Sip and Review when you uh-huh. send us shit and review it, our TikToks, uh-huh. our Reels, uh-huh. which we haven't done a Reel in a little bit, so we probably have to do a Reel this uh-huh. week. We're due for that. And a Sip and Review sometime around And the Sip and Spill shop. Mm-hmm. Our merch. Get your fucking merch, because we're tired of paying overhead. Y'all support bitches. Damn, support us. What did Meg say? invest in this business mm. so, I mean she, no she said invest in this pussy support <laughs> black business so I am she, using my really say that? She, yeah she says invest okay. in this pussy support black business she sure <laughs> as hell did and I'm using my pussy to support this black business oh, fucking correct uh, you not using your pussy bitch you ain't doing it right you not even on doing it right pussy is a currency okay oh. and we shall use it as such oh, they made it- a whole bitcoin coin coin electric coin why can't pussy be currency if a coin can, a, a fake coin, that's a cyber coin that don't even really exist. Babe, I don't, I don't know. You can touch this pussy. It's I, real. I, I know, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I like how that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't 
mind sounding like a prostitute. It's okay. I, I know what I am. Speaking of the prostitute that's about to sell her pussy, she said, and this is our story time of the day. Yeah. So of the week, week. Of the week. Well, yeah. Mm, day, week. Mm, y'all gonna follow us whenever you follow us. So whenever you find us, you find us. So it says, it was a meme that was on the internet that says, stop dating broke men. Stop help struggling men. Stop loving men at their lowest. Stop feeling pity for men who can't make a living for themselves. Men never look back after finding themselves because at the end of the day while you are pouring love into him he's only draining you of the love and the care that you need to pour into yourself how do you feel about that because i mean you are the queen of not dating broke men not smelling broke men you don't even want to be in the same building as someone that has less than ten dollars in their account yeah i mean i feel that what that person is saying at the same time Mm -hmm. i saw this meme right and it got it kind of put things perspective to me and it and the guy said it a meme and he was like, um, would you t- date a, a, a struggling nigga? And the girl was like, no, I would not date a struggling nigga. And, and, and he was like, well, to me, you're the struggling person because mm. he got money. Mm. So and we're not trying to date a struggling person. But to me, you are the struggling person that you're not even trying to date. That's a fact. So I feel like, well, like I said last week, why date down? Why date down? I mean, that's. I feel like that's just the hypocrite. I feel like that's just. I don't know. Hypocrite in us. Yeah, it's a hypocrite in us, and it's like it's a patriarchy. Like I feel like the reason why it's okay for us to not date broke men, but it's not okay. But it's okay for men to date broke women is because the way that they've established mm. like this is what it's supposed to be. I you like know? that double standard. Yeah, I like if you want multiple wives, well, you need the money to afford these multiple wives. So mm. that's why it's women definitely definitely go for stability where guys go for looks. But um, what do I think about it? I, I think it's a yes or no because there's some broke men's, uh, you know, stories where they got, got, got out of the mud and they stuck with the girl but there's also a whole bunch of stories where they got up and they left the bitch and he was like, why would I want a reminder of when I was struggling? So mm. it's just like... It's a, just a double-edged sword. If you want to stick with a broke man, I guess. If you don't, well, that's fine, too. It's just whatever. And then one of my friends, he commented on it. I saw it. And he said, women do not build. They move in. And I <laughs> feel, and I like that because I'm not a build a bitch, nor am I going to build a house. But what women I'm Women don't build. We move in. We sure the fuck do. I, 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 you I'm already like, got I, a house? Okay. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna I definitely, I absolutely feel that way. I do want someone more established to me and or someone that can teach me and put me on. Yeah. That's the reason why I don't want to date someone broke than me because I feel like I'm constantly trying to like uplift you know and x y and z it's a hard thing but to it's be- not but if you trying to date up what is what about him he's gonna be with the struggling bitch you know but I'm not a struggling bitch though but considerably considered there, to him maybe I'm not struggling though okay it'd be different if I had my hand out always asking for shit I don't feel like, yeah I feel like I'm like middle class ish I mean, okay I can afford my life I don't need to want to afford my life but if you're gonna date me you have to afford my life too okay and yours a uh, great so that's how I feel. I move and, in. And that's fine. We I don't are moving in. We don't build. We, we, we move in. We move in. So let's get so, to some would you rathers. All right. Would you rather be an average person in the present or a queen, but you live 2,500 years ago? A queen, ago? bitch. What are we talking about? I don't ever want to be. I don't want to be average. Okay. The, the word average made me want to throw up just when you said it. You're like, <laughs> average. <laughs> okay. So my question is, would you rather be a kid your entire life or an adult your entire life? Damn. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's I hard because there's some adult activities that I like to partake in, like sex <laughs> and drinking. Shut and, up. And uh, shaking Bill. my ass. That I like. I said these are the ones I like to partake in, bitch. <laughs> you know, and there's some kids' activities activities that I like to partake in, like not paying bills, sex. You know, being free. Yeah. Uh, but damn, bitch. I guess this is a good. Would you rather? I never get. I, I feel like good one, bitch. I feel like sex is worth being an adult because you, you can't experience sex. Sex is worth being an adult. You can never have sex as a child. Some kids do. Some kids be. Well, am I a, a child having sex? I'm gonna choose a kid. If I'm a child, I'm right. Sex. Yeah. No, sex is out of the picture when you're a child. <laughs> well, you, you just said kids do have sex. They do. I mean, we're talking about what age range? Okay, so do I'm not fucking can... or am I fucking? You're not fucking as a kid. Okay, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> Bitch, fuck you. Ew. <laughs> Let's get into some wine facts so we can get some motherfucking tea time. Tea, tea time. time. So the wine facts is statement don't have no motherfucking wine facts. So we're just going to pour the beer. I, it, I mean, the, um, <laughs> the wine. <laughs> not beer it is called butternut so maybe it's like a buttery pinot noir you know i like pinots but yeah butternut 
It actually was on sale at um, Randall's. You know what's so, so crazy? So ooh, it was um, smoky. You see that? I did not. Yeah. But what ooh, I did. You see that right now? Smoke maybe smoke? I see nothing. But what I was going to say, um, I went out to eat this weekend and I've been eating seafood. So, you know, I'll be like trying to be fancy as fuck because, you know, now that I know shit about wine, I'm like, oh, I'm eating seafood. So let's pair it with a buttery Chardonnay. Uh huh. Bitch, I was drunk. That shit felt good. I was like, <laughs> I said, I'm with the whites today. I say, and look it. at you. I told you, don't sleep on the whites. And I wasn't sleeping on it. I was don't sleeping sleep on, on that and some white. salmon in my stomach and the shit was great. I was yeah, like, girl. cheers to another messy ass episode of Sip and Spill. Ow. You didn't ow on me. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Ow. Ew. This is a very dry Pinot. And it tastes like fucking communion wine. This is why it was on sale. Oh, shit. At least it wasn't $19 like it was supposed to be. <laughs> Not $19 like it was supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so looking at some motherfucking tea time. All right. So um, a Connecticut man named Joshua Murray actually, to, I don't know when it happened, but he felt that these women didn't thank him for holding the door for him. So he thought it was necessary to, was it hold him at gunpoint or? He pulled a gun out on pull them. A, pull, a gun point, pull a gun out on him yeah. for that. So yeah, how do you feel about that? I... I don't want to sound like a man hater, but I really feel like the male ego is just so fragile. Yeah. Like, I mean, you know, I'm a, but granted, I'm not going to lie. I feel like as the way I was raised, if I open the door for someone and they don't say thank you, I'm going to be mad too. So okay. I feel like my ego too. I, I guess I got an ego of a male because I'd be mad as fuck. I'm like, bro, I didn't have to do this shit. I could have walked through eight seconds ago, but I thought it was the gentleman in me. It was the lady in me to keep the door open for you. Okay. Well, I keep the door open for men and women. I don't really uh, think it's a gentleman or male thing th to do. I think it's just it's like, like very chivalrous. So just, I feel like when we always say chivalry is connected to men. Yeah. When do you well, ever I mean, call I, a woman? I, I, I mean, we don't call women chivalrous, but I do hold the door. Like if I'm at my apartment, I see a girl or anyone coming behind me, I'll hold the door for them. Yeah, I think I it's just it's not, just not no more. Houston got me got me cold. <laughs> niggas don't appreciate shit. Yeah. So, but um, I always say thank you when a man holds the door for me, not because of anything besides the fact I feel like it's just you know he's offering, and I say thank and, you. And that's nice. But like, if, you even if he don't say thank you, I don't think it's that serious either. <laughs> like, are God. you doing it out of the kindness of your heart, or, are you or doing it's a pussy. to get? Yeah. So I feel like he was maybe doing it maybe he had a bad day. Maybe that thank you would have like you know. Helped him. So he, he was doing it in order to get some, like, you know, something out of it. He yeah. was doing it out okay. of his I, part, I, I But hope. I don't think anything like that is ever deep enough to pull a gun out on someone, like, because someone didn't say thank you. But I mean, times are hard. People are easily annoyed right now. Exactly. People are Gas poor. got us. Gas is huh. high. Got me you know, poor. people are just acting a complete ass right now. So maybe. You remember what they did when them fucking chicken sandwiches came out? Yeah, when those Popeye chicken sandwiches came out, like y'all were wild out there. Y'all remember when the pandemic started? Mm -hmm. We had no toilet paper. Why the first thing I was gone was toilet paper? P people would just stockpile, girl. They just take everything they had. It Clorox wasn't, it wasn't a paper. apocalypse. It was a pandemic. Yeah, girl. Crazy shit. Crazy shit. So yeah, it was. He's definitely out, out of fucking line for that shit. Like, no, I, I guess I. Yeah, you should have gotten an apology, but you didn't. So move on. Mm. It's not that serious. Speaking of niggas that are out of line, Tristan just can't get it fucking right. <laughs> he was spotted in Greece somewhere, somewhere, something, doing something with another bitch. Again. What if, like, Tristan's trying to leave, but Chloe won't let him? Like, did we ever think about that? You think he's being held captive? I feel like he's being held captive. Like just, he don't want to be with her and she won't let him leave at this point. That's that's what it has to be. Because there's no way <laughs> that he's just continuously getting spotted with new women and he's just what, like... Let me see this trend. This, like, this trend. They were like, Kristen, don't give a fuck, Thomas. What was it? There's Hold on. no way. There's absolutely no way. They are not... Tristan is single. Chloe's in a relationship. That is what it is. <laughs> oh, that's like like Carisha and um, Diddy. Yeah, you single? We go together. Exactly. Like that's what it is. And I and you know what's funny? Like a, uh, I think last week it was a post to delete from her where she posted the flowers he got her. Oh. So clearly you're still dating this man. And you this gotta delete man, that because that's embarrassing. Yeah. Like take that take that embarrassment and if you not this is what I always tell my friends if you're not gonna leave that nigga. Just don't well, tell the thing us is She's probably is not telling us. We just keep, they keep catching Tristan. He was in Greece <laughs> chilling with the bitch. He didn't think he was going to get caught. And look, I, okay, look he at this one. He didn't think he was going to get caught. He said one thing about Tristan, don't give a fuck, Thomas. He going to live his life no matter how much it's crumbling. 
<laughs> and like he's expecting a baby with her, but isn't he expecting a baby with someone else? Or that baby already came? I don't know. Okay, so that's what we were also going to talk about. That yeah. he had that they have a surrogate. Um, so they have a second child coming, and he's also um has somebody else pregnant. So he's I like, don't know if that baby is going to be this child yet, fifth, because he has he had he had, I think two before Chloe. Yeah, and then two with Chloe. Yeah, and then that extra girl. It's giving very much Nick Cannon. It's giving it's very giving much. It's giving ghetto Nick Cannon because I feel like <laughs> Nick Cannon ain't not in a relationship while he's doing all this. You that's know what a saying? fact. That's a fact. He just so, getting these bitches pregnant and leaving. And then leaving. Like, he's not committed to somebody while. Oh, and then he's, I don't know, but the, clearly this man don't care because he told her in her face that like, you ain't even going to leave me. So I saw. He I, told Chloe that she's never going to leave him? To her face. Yes. You watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians? He, no, but the little clips get on Twitter. That's I was going to say, I said, girl, I'm not you one of them. No, I don't watch that show. But little clips get on Twitter and that's what I watch and he was like you're pretty much in he didn't say those exact words but pretty much he was saying that you're never gonna leave me so that's why I feel like maybe he's really not in a relationship with her and she won't let him go mm. it has to be it's given delusional because what what sane woman is gonna accept a man constantly cheating on her like this like I feel like, like the only person that's gonna put up with that is a woman that is willing to keep her family together just to show face yeah. and I feel like you know let's be I'd rather have multiple baby daddies and deal with her shit I'm crying multiple then to deal with Tristan just yeah, have the Tristan. same baby daddy yeah he's just yeah he, I'm, I'll, I'll be he's a dub Sierra got two baby daddies so I know and then the first one was a dub the second, second one, one was good so was I, her husband so yeah I'd rather move on find another baby daddy that's gonna treat me right than deal with that shit why the that, fuck not I, like I don't mind having two baby daddies it's okay <laughs> what about three? Oh, it's four pushing it I think I think Anyone across the board, male or female, three max. Three max? Three max. I feel like once you come into four or five baby mama, baby daddies, it's like, damn, like, come on now. Yeah, my my mom's at three, so. Yeah, threes. But I I I really think it's four because she won't tell me who my daddy is. (laughs) Mama, who my daddy? (laughs) I'm asking. We need to know. (laughs) And I asked you before. So if I got to get here on live to let you know that I know you be lying to me. Maybe one. Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> so, um, what did Beyonce say? Ladies, leave your man at home. I got a full of ballads and never get full grown. Hey. Okay, so there was a meme that I saw on one of like the one of my favorite gossip sites that I follow, and it said, "Where are the women that like taking men places and have them doing things they have never done before?" And I guess that kind of brings us to like um, what we're, we're going to talk about today. But like, do you do? Would you do those things that the meme said? I absolutely do that because Mm -hmm. I like making the man that I'm with feel special. I don't want you to feel like a trick. I don't want you to feel like, you know, you are one of the many. So if I can do something to make you feel good, like do something different that I've never done and we're both experiencing it together. I absolutely love that shit. Like, I take pride in like saying, oh, this is our first together. I love this. Ah, This is for us. Ah, ah, ah. Do you do shit like that? I don't believe I'm not gonna believe I wouldn't do shit like that until unless someone's like my per like a person I'm dating like of course I'll do that for that person but other than that like no I don't really um, (laughs) she's like take men on dates what does that mean yeah Yeah. not to a man that I'm not dating like Mm -hmm. you know if I'm dating you of course but if we're not I'm not I'm not one of those girls who date before I'm dated you know what I'm saying like I'm not I feel like I date before I'm dated sometimes yeah I I feel like I do sometimes Mm -hmm. just because it's like I feel like it's fun you know you never know what you're gonna get until you put yourself out there and do those things but it's good to do those things sometimes because a lot of guys never have those things done for them so when you're that girl that do those things for them you set them apart from all the other girls exactly and that's what sets the standards in that it's like I was like okay this is a girl that can actually meet me where I'm at like I can take her on date and she can take me on dates like it's like you know it's a good it is so i will definitely do that yeah and you know like you said earlier you're like i'm independent but i'm not that independent yeah so that's something i always say yeah (laughs) so that brings us to our topic of conversation today we are talking about independent woman yeah so what does that mean to you how did how does that feel to be called an independent woman does that give you like a sense of pride when someone tells calls you an independent woman no not really um <laughs> i don't really like seek them when i say i don't seek independence like i really don't mind like we say all the time i am a dependent white, white woman, woman. We're so dependent white women. i like i i want my bills paid i want mm-hmm. someone to be there to take care yes. of me i want like that sort of relationship um but the the thing that i feel like that kind of makes me independent is that i do it 
on my own already without, you know, someone. I don't rely on like someone to pay my bills. Like I'm not out there like, oh my God, if I don't find someone to pay my bills, pay my rent, I'm fucked. Yeah. You know, I'm not asking things for $40. Um, <laughs> so that kind of makes me independent. So my view of being an independent woman is being able to do all those things for yourself, but not have but you don't have to. Yeah. You know, so like, yeah, that's what I think of it. Okay, so side note, this is a sidebar, even though we did not talk about this um, mm. beforehand. With you being independent, what do you require from a mate then? Well, definitely I want someone to take on that role that I no longer want to do. Like, of course, whoever <laughs> I'm <laughs> with, I, I want you to be able to. I, let me not say financial support because I don't expect, I don't expect a boyfriend to financially support their mm-hmm. girlfriend. I think that's I have girlfriends who do kudos to you, but I feel like that's kind of like crazy for you to do that. It's not crazy. It's an investment. I think it's crazy, kind of crazy to financially support a girlfriend. Like I'm not gonna. That's to me. That's that's husband activities. I'm not giving you wifey activities if my subscription is girlfriend. So I'm not gonna accept expect husband activities when your subscription is boyfriend so if you do stuff like you know send me nail money but you know pay one bill here and there get my hair done like little cute stuff like that is what i'm expecting i feel that as we're just dating but when we're like married and shit i'm expecting you to you know pay all i feel that so yeah um but that is my um requirement requirement when i'm someone i'm dating that to be able to do those little things that I know like like semi wax money do stuff like that yeah um, cause I'm gonna say you benefited off of it as much as I am yeah like, tell me no money you know also be there for me like you know also be support me emotionally you know stimulate my mind just be a supporter just be someone that I want to be in a relationship with because at the end of the day I do not need you mm-hmm. I want you around as a person because I like you so just just make yourself like men y'all you don't really have to do a lot like for you to get a girl to like you because the bar is so low not like the, the bar is so low it really how, is how low is the bar the bar is so low like it was for girls I mean, for um, for men to to get a girlfriend, like literally, if they do things like asking for how their day, the girl's like, "Oh my god, he asked for how my day was." Uh, he, he's so sweet, like it's little stuff like that. Girls are expect are accepting pre dates. You know, bitches, niggas take out to girls a, a little pre date before they see if they're good enough to go on a real date. I've never pre dated, of course, because our bar, of course, because we don't accept that bullshit. <laughs> but there's women who accept pre dates, and I'm like, bitch, don't let a nigga pre date you. Like and that's you go so far from. Oh my god, that, that's so far removed. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the topic within itself, to be honest. Accepting pre dates, yeah. I mean, if you have accepted pre dates. Please sign our DMs and ask us what happened because and did he date you after the pre date? Because pre date he don't spend no money at all. It's either it's, you you go Dutch or you pay for him and you. <laughs> That's you and you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I feel like I agree with you. I feel like independence yeah. is the same thing to me. It's like allowing I'm I'm able to financially support myself, and I don't know why. That's where independence starts for stops for us. But you know what? When we looked it up, it literally has a financial tie to it. It, it does have a financial. So tie independence to it. is literally lead to some that you don't need to rely on anyone for financial anything i know but it's services. like does that is it only equate to i know because we keep going off what i keep saying because i kept trying to make it make sense but i'm like yeah does independence only tie to financial stance though well according to the, the Marianne, yeah it does bitch. it does it ties to financial freedom okay okay so we already talked over it because we at first were like do we openly want to be independent? And if we had a choice, we said no. We yeah. Don't, I don't want to be independent. I agree. I don't want to be like a, fully independent. Like, okay, I don't want to be dependent on a man, yeah. but I don't want to also be fully independent. Yeah, Does that make sense? What's the word for that? I don't know. Can it be like codependent? No, not codependent. codependent. That sounds bad. No, I don't know what the word for. I guess it's mid- I think, half I think half codependent, independent. I think codependent is the word though. Yeah, like I want to, someone co, there. Co means too, like co-ed. Co means co like, means too, right? What? Well, well, there's also no. Well, co, what no, does co mean? Co doesn't mean too. It means like together. Co. Like my co-conspirator. Yeah, like my co-defendant. Yeah, so, yeah, so someone else. Yeah, someone so else. I want to be codependent okay. with someone, but independent. Okay, we want to be codependent. Co-dependent independent. independent. <laughs> We about to fucking make that a trademark. We about to make it a shirt. <laughs> fucking codependent, independent. <laughs> so speaking of that and how we um, view relationships and what we um, seek in a male partner, 
or a partner in general. You might, my my fucking soulmate might be a woman. I don't fucking I don't know. believe that. I don't either, but you shit. like dick too much. And do. Yeah. But anywho, do you feel like being independent and being in a relationship can coexist? I absolutely think it does can coexist when we want to be codependent independent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I think I think guys now generate from from most of for a lot of guys this generation they like a woman who can take care of her own, but they also like being able to provide. Mm-hmm. And I think, and then that's not even for some everyone because some guys like girls who you know they don't want the girls to work, they don't want her to have a job. And I mean, I feel like those kind of guys are you know. It's some, that's something else. But, but I mean, that's a, even a side note. Do men even like independent women? I feel like they like codependent, independent women. Like really, because they like they like feeling needed. They do. You know, a lot of men like being able to solve your problems, they be do. there for you, feel yeah. needed. So that's when your independence is not there. But they also like the fact that they know that their girl is can get it on her own on her also. Own. I yeah. think that kind of makes them feel like she's not using me. She's with me because she, she likes, likes me. me. I, I so I absolutely feel like I feel like it they, can coincide, I, but we can never we but the thing is we can never ever be too independent. That's, that's the problem. problem in a relationship. That's the problem. Yeah. yeah, we have to walk that fine, fine line, line of being independent, but not too independent. And I'm just like, but you also have to realize a lot of women we're not getting in relationships, marriages later. So we have to, we're independent for so long that it's like it's that, hard. It's hard to just meet you and just be like, well, turn it off. Turn it off. Yeah, because yeah. like for example, y'all. Okay, so I love telling my business. Y'all know I do. Mm-hmm. So this guy I'm dating. Um, every time we go out, he wants to open every door for me, and so sometimes I open the door for myself, and he's like, "Well, shit, what am I here for?" Ah, ah. And I'm like, "I understand you're trying to do it, but it's like I'm just so used to doing shit like that myself that I don't. I'm not gonna be one of those people that's like a fucking brat and just stand there and be like." And I like to open the door shit, but sometimes it'd be taking too long. And that's, you know, the, the man, the wear, the man, the go. man wears dunks and um ones. And you know how slow y'all got to fucking walk in them shoes. So, yes, y'all niggas are going too slow for me. My legs are too short. I walk too fast. I'm waiting there in this yeah. Houston heat, this Houston hell that we're in. Yeah. I don't want to wait. So I appreciate in the beginning. You after the, when, you, when you first wake up, hold my door. It's cool. But after that, when we're going to other places, it's cool. No, you can absolutely still do it. Just move faster. Move faster. Or leave before me. So it's already open by the time I get there. (laughs) Okay. So why do you feel like um, being independent is so praised when it comes to women? Like you said, when we're on the phone, you said men don't get a pat on their back for being independent. They don't. It's like we have songs about independent women, like I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that means? I'm like, why are y'all like praising us for doing adult shit? We like, get praised for being adults. We do. Yeah, we do. I uh, I don't I I don't know. Is is it like the same thing when guys get praised for being able to cook and clean? Yeah. And that's just being an adult. It's, it's when men get praised for being single fathers. When men get praised for being at a grocery store with their baby and they're like, Oh, let me help you. you when men get praised for, for babysitting cha- their kids. For babys- for changing diapers. <laughs> You know, so I guess that's what we get praised for because that's not something that I is. I think they want because I feel like they feel like most women are not independent. But I feel yeah, like we were supposed to look it up, but we didn't. But I feel like the rise of independence only came because we had to be because most men were either going off to war, starting other families. Like, yeah. You know? So women had to rely. I mean, it's evolution. We had to adapt to the, the change in the world around us because guys were like you said, going off to war or starting other families or going to jail or like... Yeah, absolutely. Cause doing, I feel yeah. Like my mom, she has a friend who still is in that time where she doesn't have a job. She is solely dependent on her husband. She like cooks and cleans, has the kids and everything for him. And then now they're at the age where the kids are out of the house and like, you know, like they just don't. And I'm like, she never had... I feel like being independent gives you something outside of your husband yeah. to look forward to Mm -hmm. like hobbies and i feel like if you're only in it for the financial stance of it it's only gonna go so far yeah so and now women can have bank accounts so we don't really need men around (laughs) we have bank accounts i mean for the little up until recently we couldn't have one so that's the rise of the independence women because women no longer have to rely on men yeah like Mm -hmm. so i feel like but do you feel like it's harmful that we are so independent though do you feel like it makes a man feel less needed? I don't feel like it's harmful to anyone besides the patriarchy. Okay. It's harmful. Do you but feel the, it would be better off if we were a matriarchy? 
I don't fucking know. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, it was a, it was a food for thought, baby. It was a yeah, food for thought. I, don't, I, I don't know. Um, but what we do know is that when society is under a matriarchy, it's more peaceful. It's better. So maybe it is. I don't know. But yeah, like I was saying, it's really just it's just harmful to the patriarchy if women are independent. I feel like any real man who knows himself and is confident in himself and knows his woman is a person on her, it's a is a human being and not there to just serve and cook and clean for you yeah. is not harmed by her being independent. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I love that. So what are some traits of being independent? Okay, so there are some traits that I, we looked up. Uh, we didn't even get the website. Did you remember the website? Oh, well, I'm no. sorry. Um, the first one was you lead, don't follow. And um, I don't I don't really agree with that 100% because I feel like, yeah, being independent means you, you are a natural born leader. But also, I feel like being a leader also, you also know when to follow and listen. Yeah. You know, you know, you're not always the smartest person in the room. So as a leader, I am. You all, okay. So you're uh, welcome, both of y'all. You're always the smartest person in the room. Mm-hmm. Okay, Even well, if I don't know, I know. Okay. <laughs> 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 but anyways, you're not always the smartest person in the room. So I, I feel like a leader also knows when to like, you know, take the take the tail, I guess, whatever you want to say. What's take the tail? Um, you know, in, in an African household, you say we are the head you know, we're never the tail. So the tail is the bottom. <laughs> yeah. African people feel like they're above everyone. Yeah. We have no, the head. No, 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 you know, not the tail. <laughs> so that's where I got it from. Um, another one is you don't shy away from decision making. Um, yeah. yeah. Any boss, bitch, any leader, nigga, leader, bitch, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I like how that's. <laughs> 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 you're not afraid to make some decisions that's how you know you're independent um and you're happy on your own that's the last that that's definitely is yeah so some traits that i saw was that you don't hold things in and i feel like someone that is independent is so used to speaking their mind and speaking their truth and being in the moment because it's like the fuck I need you for, you know? And sometimes it does come off like pretty arrogant when you're independent, but I don't think it's supposed to be translated like that, you know? Is that, is okay, so is that goes back to being too independent so we always feel like we don't need nobody because we got yeah. it on our own? Yeah, no, honestly. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like independence is very crippling to growth in interpersonal relationships because it does not allow you the space to trust that everyone has good, um, Good intentions for yourself. So can we also put that to men and men feel like sometimes sometimes men are too independent because men don't ask questions. Men don't ask for help. Men don't ask even when ask for direction. But, but we said it's so, only praised when it's given to a woman. But I think being in too independent and or being independent is OK. But I feel like it's such a negative like. No, I'm so I'm saying undertone. can men also be too independent? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. But I feel like that's just men being men. It's never seen as, oh, he's hyper independent or he's. Yeah. Cause it, that's, there's no that's such thing as, oh, he's alpha. He's the. He's there's the no star. such thing as hyper oh independence when it comes to men. It's not. It doesn't it's, exist. They're alpha. Exists. Yeah. They're just being a man. They're being a man. Yeah. They're doing what but I feel God like, put them on this earth to do. I feel like hyper independence can come to being, a, can come with men because that's the reason why you're going through shit and you're suffering in silence because you just have to be so on my yeah, own. I'm and like, that, now that's you're, should be talked about because I'm yeah. like, their hyper independence leads to depression. Our hyper independence leads to that's masculine and, and, and oh. mascul- <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Masculine energy because yeah. I feel like how many times have you had a man tell you that you make him feel like a man? Yeah. And it's like, sometimes when I, like I say, when I go on dates or something and I pay for shit, men are kind of like, for example, I, I, I don't know so because the niggas I see, they be happy little bitch pay for shit. <laughs> like they be begging. So the niggas you be with, begging. they be like, oh, so are you paying? Like straight the niggas, fuck up, ask. ask you, girl. Ask you, girl. Ask you, girl. Not asking her. Do y'all not know who Sammy is, girl? You know, I wasn't talking about myself when I said that. Oh, oh, oh you spill her tea. Yes, one of our bitch. segments, y'all, that we did not even what? mention. Do spill I her even tea. give off pay for myself energy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I went on a yeah. date and I paid for something and the guy looked at me and he's like, I don't know what kind of niggas you fucking with. He's like, are you traumatized? Like, why? He's like, why are you paying? I said, it's a fucking beer. Like, yeah. why, why can't I pay? Mm-hmm. Like, hey. I'm going to pay. No, you can pay. I'm Karan, so you can pay. <laughs> <laughs> Another one is you don't need to constant, you don't need constant validation when you are 
independent. Mm -hmm. It's great to get validation from people. It's great to have reassurance from humans. But um, when you are independent, you don't necessarily need it. Um, but I feel like people do my nature. I feel like everyone wants to hear how great they are, of course, or how hard they're working or mm -hmm. like, so I feel like it's good. But I, when you are independent, I feel like sometimes you don't tend to hear it a lot because mm -hmm. and I feel like also independence translates to people being that that's the strong friend. That's the friend that has everything together. Mm -hmm. So I feel like when you're independent, people, feel, that's the thing. People always think you have it together and don't realize that independence sometimes is lonely mm -hmm. and crippling crippling mm -hmm. those are fucking cons that we didn't even get into but we're gonna have to repeat that shit because that shit that's a motherfucking clip right there <laughs> um so we were thinking about can well off women be dependent on a man because when we looked it up independence is tied to financial f financial stability only so women who are like oprah uh rihanna nikki like these women are make way more money than mm -hmm. their uh, client, Kylie Jenner, all have way more money than their partners. Do we consider these women independent women or are they dependent on their men? I don't know. I even feel like, they way, I make feel way like more. even though they're independent, we don't even classify their independence as independence. We call them like boss bitches. Like we feel like they're trailblazers. Like, oh, you're you're the breadwinner of the family. Like we look up to shit like that mm -hmm. and we want to aspire to shit like that. But while we're we're in the in the grind of things. We're like, yeah. I don't want to be that person. Like we keep saying, I don't want independence. I don't want independence. But we see how free they live. Like yeah. they live so unapologetically and freely because they can and will and do. And I feel like a certain type of attitude comes with being independent. So I don't know. Do you consider Oprah independent? Is she an independent woman? No, because she has a man. Even though she makes way well, more, more than a man. Damn. Yes. That's that's the thing. I don't know if women. I don't know because our. I feel like our independence is only in our singleness. Like, because when you're with someone, no one ever looks at you as an independent, independent woman. Yeah, just because you're not single anymore. You're not single anymore. It's like because people and the think, man is quote unquote taking care of you. But not even that. Like people think that you have like you, the independence is because you are single. Yeah. So it's like being. Can women in relationship be independent women? Yes, they can. They absolutely can. So why do we not see Oprah as an independent woman? I don't know. <laughs> Is Oprah independent? Is Oprah independent? I mean, I guess Stedman's opened up the jars for her because she won't open them up. That's being independent on a man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I really hope that you love hell because it's going to be hot. Well, I'm just saying, there's some things he can do that doesn't require... But that's what I'm saying. Why do we equate independence only to money when if a man is in your life so and makes your life cancel, easier. We're going to cancel the Webster dictionary and make our own definition. We don't, Miriam has been wrong sometimes. Okay. Okay. So and like being the smartest person in the room, I know I'm not wrong about this. Independence so is independence so much more. It's way more than just money. In my opinion, respectfully. Cause mm -hmm. I feel like it's just so much that goes, I don't know what it is y'all. I wish I had the words, but I feel like once I can calculate it in my brain and I can articulate that to y'all, I will. But right now it's just not the time. So, so I'll say my opinion. <laughs> I feel like these women are still independent. Okay. Even though they are in a relationship, um, because they are able to do without these men. But I feel like they're also depending on these men for other things that want it because it's not financial. Yeah. Uh, cause what's her name? Nicki Minaj only Kenneth. Kenneth can be a fly on the wall. Who cares? Mm, he is a fly but on the wall. But he gives her something else that she is dependent on. Yeah. So, yeah, these it, women, it, in, I feel like women who are in marriages, you are no longer independent women. Once you put their, no, no, I lied. <laughs> you can be independent women, but you're codependent independent women. That's all I'm trying to say. Codependent, independent. I'm Once you're in a marriage. We have to quit yeah. it. Because I feel like the, the, it just sounds so tasty coming off my mouth. Like, mm -hmm. co. Independent, independent. Yeah. So what are some pros and cons of being independent? Okay, so I'm going to do the pros. And I'm going to do the cons. All right. I know we're supposed to get into the pros and cons <laughs> of independence, but I just want to tell you all that about this nigga was biting my nipples so damn hard. And it was a little bit of my fault because I was encouraging the you behavior. You were like, you're rough. Well, no, I was just moaning and shit. But I, you know when you're drunk and shit? So like, things don't feel like as intense. But when I tell you the next day, when I took a shower and the water was hitting my nipples, it was so painful. And the next day, anytime I had the chills, it just felt it. I just felt it in my nipples. And right now when I have the chills, I just felt it in my nipples. So I feel like when you're sucking and biting and groping a girl's nipples, if she's encouraging the behavior, don't do it. Because the next day she's going to be in some motherfucking pain. And 
I'm the person to tell you right now. Okay, well, side note to what she's saying. I feel like y'all just need to be better at what the fuck y'all are doing because most niggas can't give head. Most niggas, the only thing y'all can Damn. do. Yeah, it, it is what it is. Yeah. And I literally, if someone asks me, I rate their head on a scale of one to 10. Usually it's always under seven. So I've been I, lucky with the guys who's given me head. Been lucky. I have the you last few guys like has given fo- me head. They focus on the wrong parts. I feel like they're too. They're always high up. But the thing is, like, I tell guys what to do. I tell them. I. I mean, once I coach you, you do better. But I'm like, people are just out here giving head like they know what they're doing, and I'm. I, I'm sorry to tell y'all. Y'all don't know how to give head. I think because guys give head so easily to everyone, they just feel like all the girls want the same thing. Yeah, and you I feel to like cater it to the person. To the person you're that you're giving head to, head to like. I feel like I, I mean I don't know about you but I mean I do know about you but most don't, men we don't really be giving niggas head like oh, that I do not give but, <laughs> you said, like, I do not I do not like you have to beg you have to probably you have to send a fucking zell for me to give head the fuck are we talking okay, about okay well I I'm I'm not that strict on my head game I'm very strict um I'm I will give head <laughs> but I feel like I ca- I cater my head to the person that I'm dealing with yeah you can't suck every you can't just like it's suck a lollipop because yeah. some of them are like jolly ranchers yeah some of them is like you to play with a gooch some niggas like to play with the ball some niggas yeah, like the tip tell you to play with his gooch mm, you little nasty bitch <laughs> let's Wait, get, let's the get the pros and cons of being independent <laughs> a pro is means you can take care of yourself and it's not a beautiful feeling knowing that you can wake up and be like if i want it I can get it. What's that song by? I um, got it. Dripping like, oh no, wrong one. No, the one by Ariana Grande. I want it. I I got it. I want it. I got it. Seven seven rings, I think. Yeah, seven rings. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't get on beat because I wasn't thinking of that song. Yeah, it's fine. So a con is you probably are not good at asking for help. And I feel like that is very true. When you're independent, you feel like you are the one that has to figure out everything. And it's like, I don't feel that way. So I guess I am not an independent woman. I don't want to be an independent woman. But if you are independent, sometimes I feel like Pride stops you from asking, which is should actually not. That's what we said. It's crippling. It's mm-hmm. crippling to be independent because you feel like you ha- because you're so independent. You are the gatekeeper for everything that you have and can do when you necessarily don't have to be. Mm-hmm. Life does not have to be hard. We don't like stress. No stress. <laughs> um, you have an attitude that won't keep you down for long. Um, definitely when someone's independent, you always have to think of a way to get yourself out of whatever situation that you're in. So yeah, you have to have that, you know, it's going to get better. I got this attitude and that attitude is what I feel like gets me to get a job like the day like the day I quit, next day I get a job, like type shit. Yeah, because you have to be optimistic. I have to get the job because, bitch, I pay my bills. Yeah. So it's like, I have no choice but to get it. She got her own car. She, she got her own crib. Two jobs. Oh, I didn't hear him when he said two jobs. I, I, I can't. So another con is, ugh, another con of being independent is you probably aren't aware or accommodating of your weaknesses. And I feel like that's true sometimes as the independent human that I am, I turn a blind eye to some of my weaknesses because I'm like, does it really fucking matter? I'm independent in the at the end of it. Do I need you? I, 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 X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. So um, I feel like just be more aware that sometimes like just tone it down just a little bit and humble yourself, you know, mm-hmm. accommodate others. Uh, another pro to being independent is you are able to look out for others. You are the person that people go to. Um, not too much though. I don't, I don't like being that person too much, but I don't mind being the person that people like go to for shit, but don't, don't go too much, bitch. I think uh, I, 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 got, I like that part of being independent. More yeah. The one once asked me, I can and will. And, and I like the part of being independent of knowing that if I, like we said, if I want it, I got it. Yeah. So it's like, I I just don't think too hard about it. I just live life and I live it fully. Like if we want to go out to eat three days a week, we can because mm-hmm. our independence and our hard working dedication to mm-hmm. life allows us to do so. Do so. If we want to go on a vacation, we can. Big perm. Mm-hmm. And another um, con is you reach your reach and influence are, is very limited. So when you're independent, it's like it says the problem with doing everything yourself is that you sometimes are the only resource and the only investment of the things that you need to accomplish. So that's why Tyler Perry movies be so bad sometimes <laughs> because he don't um, hire other people. He does the writing, the, the directing. He does all everything himself. He doesn't have anyone that he hasn't he doesn't pay any writers to help. He him. do it himself. Directing, all of that, producing, now, all now, that shit. Now, the, the movies don't be bad. It just be sometimes like the wigs and shit like that. But I feel like the But plot, how come his wig always late and everyone else's wig not late? 
If it's the, really the wig, why his shit always laid? Because you gonna make sure you the best looking motherfucker in that bitch if it's your fucking So he production. could afford, he could get better wigs, he just choose not to get his. I mean, if you know that you in a fucking movie with, um, what is his name, Shamar Moore? Yeah. I'm gonna make sure I look better than him. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? That nigga can be shirtless, look better than me. Nah, fuck you with he your wig. He was still fine with that braid, with that braided wig, Maybe though. that braided wig? But he was still the fine. The lace was lacing. The, the lace, it, it wasn't even a lace, bitch. It was, it was one of those wigs that you just, the $20 half. Wings type shit. <laughs> it got no legs in that bitch. bitch. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, shut the fuck up. Oh my God. So that is why. But yeah, anyways, more of the story. Ask some motherfucking help. Bitch, don't say, be a yeah, Tyler Perry ass nigga. The story, like, there are some pros, there are some cons to being independent, but overall, granted, as adults, we want at least a little bit of independence but yeah you know it's not that hard to extend your network by opening your fucking mouth you know you're not always okay so wait are men independent are men independent I yeah they are. why wouldn't men be independent <laughs> i'm just asking john you feel like um men are independent men are independent I, I want to assume they are but i'm saying we don't give them that title we yeah just, that's just you have to think about it Historically, men have always had this role of being providers and this, this, yeah. and the third. So they lack a lot of other skills because the only thing they worry about is money. Mm-hmm. So I feel like they've always been independent, but because they gave it to us now, it's like, oh, she's an independent woman. She don't need me to pay her bills because yeah. that's what I, that's, that's my, that's what they feel like is their primary reason on being in this earth. So yeah, men are independent. They just don't get the independent title. They don't. Yeah. He's an independent nigga. And I love that for him. Yeah, he. No one says that. No nigga comes in a song and be like, "Oh yeah, I'm independent in this bitch." You know, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I'm just saying. Unless he's talking about being like not in a music I know, and I, but contract. I'm, like, why, I'm gonna say, why are women so proud of like, yeah, I'm an independent bitch. I pay my own oh, bills. Man. I'm like, bitch, we are adults. So we all have to, and we're struggling. It's hard so out you're here. An adult. Yeah, I mean, we be bragging about paying my. I be bragging too, like I pay my own bills, and bitch, bitch you're supposed I'm like, to. Who's gonna, who's gonna who's pay, pay for it? For it? Exactly. And honestly, another thing, side note, mama, why you bring me on this earth and we got rich? Like, I feel like you should have brought you us. You haven't had to ask for your mama this whole episode. I just wanted to know, like, I didn't ask for these bills. I didn't ask for this life. I didn't ask for the stresses of how much money I tend to spend by myself. Why didn't you make me humble? Why didn't you? Why did you make? Well, a- at least she may do a bad bitch. So and you can get your bills paid with your pussy. And do. <laughs> and will. Okay, then. Her. So we're getting some motherfucking questions. We're getting some motherfucking blank questions because I ain't got not one, okay. not two questions. All right. So we already answered my first question. So my second question is, why do you think it's more positive than negative to be independent? Why do you think it's more positive than negative? Because I feel like, like we said, people give you as like a badge of honor. Like, oh, she's an independent woman. Like, my girl don't need me. She got a bag on her own. I don't want a bag on my own. I want your bag. Yeah, definitely. I want your bag too. <laughs> um, why is it positive? I guess it's just the fact that men are tired of taking care of bitches. Okay, but the negative of it is with us being so independent, we stop trying to allow men to be men. You know, we don't want them, like, we don't give them And space. what is men being men? Pay that bills? Is that what it is? I don't know. But I just feel like when you're independent, there's like a certain aura or a... I feel like when we... You, just because you're... You don't... I don't... Like, okay. That's for for question. For example. <laughs> for question? For, for yeah, example? Yeah, for example. <laughs> Oprah... you Who's paying the bills between Oprah and Stepman? Who's paying the bills in the house? She probably gives him the money to pay. Yeah. <laughs> just so he can feel like a man. You think sh- she gives him and money... Money so he can pay the rent. <laughs> <laughs> because me, personally, if I'm out with my nigga... And I see that there's something that we gotta do. I will give him the money to tip. Bitch, no, you, no, you don't do that shit. But you remember that one time? Don't you, do that shit. Hold on. But you remember we went out one time with that one guy, and he paid our bill, the pay the bill for our food. And I was like, I want to tip. And like he was like, No, I got it. And then I still opened it, put money in there. And remember, he like looked at me. He said, Don't you ever do that again. Remember when I did yeah. that? We argued the entire time. Yeah, but don't don't give him the money so he can pay the bill so he can feel good. No, you should have paid that fucking bill. Don't do that shit. <laughs> don't do that shit. But uh, okay, so back to oh, damn. You forget what the fuck I was do talking about. Do you think I should give him step me the money? That's what you say. No, you- <laughs> we're saying do, who are you think pay the bills? Step me, Oprah. Stedman, because she gives him money. I told you. <laughs> I, I, I don't I, think Oprah is giving. I speak stuff. to Oprah very frequently. Okay, <laughs> smart people in the room all know each other. Okay, so and she told I don't me. think Oprah is. Uh, 
less independent, more. Oh, I forgot the, what we were talking about. So you can answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> you never forget. <laughs> Well, I was going somewhere. Were you? Yes, I had a point. Okay. What did we forget? I'm quiet now. But it don't matter. So I'm going to go to my question because I guess when we watch the episode, we're going to remember what the question was. <laughs> uh, my question to you is uh, Are we going to switch our producers? <laughs> John looking real nice in that seat over there. <laughs> no. I would like to say that I'm loyal, but loyalty never got anyone anywhere. So, you know, <laughs> why are we like that? <laughs> Shit, fuck it. We love you. We love you, LA. Let's see whatever you want to go by. Hoochie daddy, whatever we want to say today. But, you know, we'll see you on the flip side. But um, oh, okay. so um, do you have any more questions? Because we already answered one of my other questions. Uh, so. My last question to you is when is your next vacation? Girl, Um, so my nigga trying to plan us a trip to go to DR. So I'm thinking that's going to be the next trip. OK, so might be in and out, you know, when is your next trip, even though I know so the viewers know when to find you when they can't find you because she's going to be out suns out, buns out, bitch. Yeah. Next month, we're going to Costa Rica. Per. That's my next trip. When you going? Well, actually, I think I think I'm going to Miami first before I go to Costa Miami. Rica. Yeah. Oh, you little skank. Uh, I don't know you, if I told you about that you yet. Did, you did tell me about that. That's why I, I called you a skank, bitch. Yeah. I'm going to go to Miami first. One thing about Sam is she's going to take a flight. Yeah. And it's none of your business while she's doing it. Um, <laughs> And then after that, Costa Rica. Okay. So, anything else that you nothing wanted to else, add? Nothing new. Um, I just want you niggas to know when you're eating the pussy, look for the clit. Mm. Um, lift the hood up a little bit and then suck the clit and lift then move, the your, mind, move your um, head sideways. Oh, great advice. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I'm going to probably try it out once or twice, you know? Who's pussy going to eat? I don't fucking know, bitch. I'll just be talking shit. Okay. So, thank you guys for following us on this journey about being independent women. And yes, we are dependent white women looking for our strong black men to take care of us <laughs> right now. <laughs> And we know how niggas left them, them oh, white with you. women. <laughs> we know but, y'all love them. But right now, we're still working. You know, we're still here. Still doing shit. Still talking shit. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, while you're at it, can y'all please follow us on all social media platforms at The Real Spill. Except Twitter, which is... Sip and Spill 1. And while you're at it, please give us a five-star rating. Give us some five-star Star bitches. bitches. Ow. Ow. Sip wine, wine, wine. Kick my feet up when I get tired. And as I recline, take another sip, let my thoughts unwind.